The majority of conditions that are treated by a neurosurgeon are actually spine conditions. So I would say 70 to 80% of surgeries performed by neurosurgeons are spine surgeries. Orthopedic surgeons also perform spine surgeries. So there is an overlap between what the orthopedic spine specialists perform and what the neurosurgeons perform. And a lot of these surgeries are actually the same. Now the difference, the fundamental difference comes down to their training. So neurosurgeons have to go through a, typically a seven year residency training program, plus or minus a year of fellowship training. And during their residency, they're exposed to a lot of spine procedures. So typically when a neurosurgeon graduates from their training, they're already well equipped to go out there and start doing a lot of the simple spine procedures. An orthopedic surgeon is going to be exposed more to musculoskeletal problems, shoulder problems, knee problems. They will have some exposure to spine, but I would say it's a minority of their exposure. So typically they will do a fellowship in spine surgery. Now there's another difference also that's, I think, pretty important to know is Although about 80 or 90% of surgeries that are performed by orthopedic and spine surgeons are the same, for example, removing a disc from the spine or fusing a level in the spine or decompressing the nerve in the spine, there are certain procedures that the neurosurgeons are more apt to do or more adept to perform. For example, if there's a tumor inside the spinal cord itself, or a tumor that's wrapped around the nerves in the spine. So a neurosurgeon will be more adept to actually operate on the nerves themselves. Whereas an orthopedic surgeon, when they complete a fellowship in spine surgery, a lot of times they will be more apt to do procedures like scoliosis and deformity correction procedures, which neurosurgeons may not have had a, as much exposure in their training to perform.